Welcome back to the allotment plot. And if you're new to the channel, my name's Graham and this is Where Graham Grows. And today's video is a little bit different because I wanna share with you an article that I was reading about the topic of allotment waiting lists in England. To be honest with you, it was quite a disturbing read, I must say, and I thought I'd share it because I couldn't believe what I was reading. The article itself I was reading online in a national newspaper. I'll put the link to the article in the description below. But this is where it gets really interesting, right? <laughs> this, honestly, is where Honestly, I could not believe what I was reading. Check this out. It says here, number of people waiting for an allotment has doubled in the last 12 years. The most recent figures obtained by independent blah 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 show there are now at least 157,820 applications sitting on English local authorities on allotment waiting lists. This is the bit that absolutely threw me right. So it says here, the average waiting time for an allotment was three years in the UK, whilst residents of Islington, North London, faced a 15 year wait. 15 years. The local authorities with the longest waiting list was Bristol, with 7,630 outstanding applications, followed by Sunderland, Portsmouth, Southampton, Edinburgh, and Manchester. <laughs> so let me just reiterate what I've just said there. 174,182 applications are sitting on allotment waiting lists. The average waiting time for an allotment is three years. What? And <laughs> I mean, Talking about my own personal experience, I waited about a year for this allotment plot. And I think we have here about eight or nine people on our waiting list currently. What the heck is going on? Those numbers are absolutely insane. Everybody knows the value in growing their own vegetables, right? Particularly in this sort of world where we live in, where we have to be all environmentally friendly and all this sort of stuff. Half the stuff that most people buy from supermarkets has come, out, has come from the other side of the world. And, you know, the power of having a little piece of land, it doesn't have to be huge, but to grow your own fruit and vegetables. Not only is it great for the environment, but it's great for your mental health. You're learning new skills and the food tastes absolutely amazing. So look, the thing is, I don't want to go off onto some crazy rant about this, but you know, you want to talk about mental health, for example. So when I got my allotment, things were quite bad for me. You know, my anxiety levels were high. We'd not long come out of COVID. Um, I was feeling very overwhelmed, I had a lot of things going on in my life and I needed some sort of escapism and I didn't realise for one minute how much the allotment could do that for me and I was right on the verge of going to the doctors and not for the first time you know and saying you know I'm feeling anxious and feeling stressed feeling depressed all this sort of stuff and I know if I'd have walked straight into that doctor's room they would have given me some antidepressants right and there you go some money to big pharma get yourself some of these pros out down you and you'll feel better for a few years or whatever now, don't get me wrong I'm not mocking antidepressant drugs or SSRIs or anything like that I understand there's a place for them in the world but I didn't go there asking for those because I had the opportunity to have an allotment it just took me under that level of needing to go to the doctors because I had this outlet where I could get into something new I could find a new passion get out in the great outdoors and just feel better about myself so why is it that nobody's looking at this this is a problem right we can see it's a problem somebody needs to look at this and think a lot of people want to do this right there's a demand for it so why not 
meet that demand. Like, it's just crazy. We go on about things like electric cars and all this stuff about saving the environment, but literally growing your own fruit and vegetables can just solve so many things on a national level, but also on a personal level as well. And I, I don't know, I, the article actually wound me up, if I'm honest with you, because by the end of it, I thought to myself, there's so many people that are missing out on an opportunity to do exactly what I'm doing, but they just can't even get a sniff of an allotment plot. So what do we do? There's obviously a few things that can solve this. Existing allotment plots can maybe look around and think, well, you know, look at these plots that are dormant, plots that aren't being used. Maybe they should be more forthcoming in saying, look, if you're not like using your allotment plot, give it up to somebody else that wants to have a go rather than just keeping it there. I mean, that's one thing that can be done, but you know, people do have often things going on in their lives and maybe they don't want to use it for a year and another year. So that's, for, so that's a very difficult thing to do. You can't really kick people out of their plots. So you've got to create more allotment plots. It's that simple, isn't it? You've got to create more areas where people can have a go at growing their own fruit and vegetables. The demand is there. Because I like to keep the channel all calm and relaxed, but this has really got on my nerves. And I do feel... Like I can do something about it, but I just don't, I don't know what it is I can do, but I think I can do something. Even if it's something on YouTube, even if it's creating some sort of petition, I don't know. I just feel that there's, there's a voice that needs some volume on this because that was a great article, shocking article and really and truly i just feel bad for the people that want to have a go at doing this sort of stuff because like i say the benefits to it are just tenfold let me know in the comments below a couple of things are you on an allotment plot waiting list how long have you been on it for or do you have an allotment and how long did it take you to get into your allotment plot i really want to know because i really think together we can kind of strengthen up the voice to show people how good having an allotment plot is. Let me know guys, because this has really irritated me to be honest with you. <laughs> I hope you've kind of enjoyed this video today and a little bit, yeah, it's about me ranting a little bit, but I'm sorry, but I feel quite passionate about this and it just seems like we've completely lost touch with everything, if you ask me, because how can we not give people an opportunity to grow their own fruit and vegetables? <sighs> Let me know in the comments below what you think, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you want to see more content like this. Hit the subscribe button to follow along. And next time we'll plant some stuff in the allotment. Let me know your thoughts below, what you think about that article. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.